Well, we're announcing £155,000 of investment in the Mountain Area Council of Scotland. Uh, that will help fund the Mountain Weather Information Service. Uh, because what we want to do is make sure that people can come and enjoy the hills and mountains of Scotland, but they can do so safely. So that will be a very detailed, localised Mountain Weather Information Service, so that people can come and enjoy the hills, but uh, not risk their own uh, safety. We want to encourage you know, more people to go into the hills, whether it's hill walking or climbing, right across the board, every aspect of mountaineering. But we have to accept that conditions in the Scottish mountains can be very severe and that safety precautions are essential and people need to know about these, need to have a means with aspects like navigation, where training is a good idea, to have courses you know, that, are, that are low cost, that are easily available. And with the funding, we can now provide all of this again. The, some would say, and, and, and I happen to believe, that the landscape in Scotland is our greatest asset. And for an area like the Highlands of Scotland, most of the economy, 90% of the economy comes from tourism. And that tourism is adventure tourism. So to, to, if we're welcoming and promoting the mountain areas of Scotland for visitors, I think we have a responsibility and a duty to make sure that all the good advice and safety services are in place for them. There's the Mountain Weather Information Service, which is very important, um, which gives detailed forecasts for the Highlands, um, which is available on the web and which is a free service. Um, and because of the funding, it can remain a free service, which I think is, is important. The funding that's been announced for the athletes also hugely important to us, you know, to show support, the continued support they've given us to, to try and compete on a world stage, you know, with the top alpine countries. We're, we, we don't have as big mountains and as much snow as the other ones, so, you know, we really need the, every little bit of support we can get. It's uh, over £200,000 of investment in snow sport. It will allow our, our winter athletes to get ready to build up for the Winter Olympics in 2010. And I'm very hopeful that they'll go out there and do their best for Scotland, do their best for the team, and hopefully even bring back some medals.